Got a little theme song. Okay? Okay. Okay. Got some lyrics here. Oh, you up for a bit, no. of, up for a bit of singing? Yeah. Yeah? Up for a bit of singing? God, top of our lungs, isn't it? More embarrassing than doing the quiz. <laughs> Adam McDonald on Fuse FM. Fuse FM. Right. Next up on Fuse FM Breakfast this morning. I've got a couple of listeners in the studio today, Moy and Rob from well, th- you guys live with me, and uh, I was asking you guys whether you can we can bring in a lecturer because I want to do a quiz that we've done before called "Are You Smarter Than Your Lecturer?" Hello, hello. And look who we have. We have Doran. Doran Cohen, lovely to see you. Thanks for coming in today. Um, I regret it already. <laughs> These guys have been given a little bit of fighting talk. They reckon they can beat you quite easily. Well, to be honest, I don't really doubt it. <laughs> I'm not really sure why we do this segment. I mean, my general knowledge is pretty limited. But having said that, they're pretty poor students oh. who uh, don't always attend lectures, especially lecture two, social psychology. You weren't there, boys. I oh. noticed these things. So, you know, I hope you weren't at home swatting upon general knowledge. That's all I hope. But you did say in your email to me that if they beat you, you'll give them 100% in your module? I did not say that. <laughs> 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 Any reason why I'm here. <laughs> right, brilliant. Okay, and before we start this, um, whether you guys will be up for this, got a little theme song. Okay. 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 Got some lyrics here. Oh you up for a bit? No. Up for a bit of singing? Yeah. Yeah. Up for a bit of singing? So, if you've ever heard of the hit Sky One TV show, "Are You Smarter Than a Ten Year Old?" We've literally copied that, changed the lyrics. We've got a couple of my mates to sing along with it as well. Uh, yeah, and it goes a bit like this. Just. Uh, Got your lyrics, try and work it out, it's pretty easy. Okay. Everyone's singing top of their lungs, let's go. God, top of our lungs, is it? It's more embarrassing than doing the quiz. <laughs> <laughs> Embrace it! Are you smarter than your lecturer? Do you really think you're cleverer? What a day we've got a quiz to see if you're smarter than your lecturer. Brilliant, great. Right, so the rules are for this. It's a simple back and forth quiz. I will ask you a question, I will ask you guys a question. If one of you gets it wrong, we'll flip it over to the other person and they'll have the chance to steal your question and get points. There'll be 90 seconds on the clock. Most correct answers in 90 seconds will win. We've got the official eludicator. Louis here will be doing the scoring. There's, a, there's been a few claims of bias, but I think we'll, uh, I think we'll be all right. Yeah, we just like to register already my concerns. You guys live together, and I think that these boys have probably been sort of milking you as much as they possibly can. You've more or less admitted to it. And not that I'm getting defensive, but of course it's two against one, so it's not like, you know, it's me versus a student. Anyway, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure I'll win, but you know, I, th- I think this is better for me to later say that, you know, I... Uh, it makes you want an excuse for losing. Oh, right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Getting your excuses in early. Right, let's do this. Right, 90 seconds on the clock, let's go. Moy and Rob. Singer Jess Glynn celebrated her birthday on Monday, finished the title of her song, Hold My... I don't know, Arm? <laughs> Doran. Hand? Well done, right, oh, Doran, your second question. Up. Wales beat France 2019 on Sunday to reach the semi-finals of which sporting event? Football. Boys? Rugby World Cup. Brilliant. Back to you guys, Moy. Moy and Rob, it was confirmed that this week that which Australian city will host World Pride Day this year? Sydney. Sydney? Yeah, well done, Sydney. Doran, as 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 of this year, what TV programme takes the highest share of viewers on primetime Saturday night television? Um Simon Cowell, something to do with Simon Cowell. No! (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Wait, is it just in the UK? Right, no, right, no one got that. Doran, the 200 metre world record was beaten earlier this month by the first British woman, but what was her name? Claire. <laughs> Boys? Jessie. Wrong, it was Dina Asher Smith. Moy and Rob, what is the name of the first woman to ever get a PhD in psychology? Oh, God. God. Doran, do you know this? Claire. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh God. Doran, last year scientists have discovered that an instant dwarf planet called the Goblin at the outer reaches of the solar system, but what is the closest planet to the sun? To the sun is Mercury. Well done, good, right, and that is it. Oh, no. Time is up, Louis, can we, get, can we get the scores from you please? Well, Doran got two. And Moy and Rob also got two. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> right, so we're going to have to take it to a tiebreaker. 
Oh, I was, tension now. I was really hoping this wasn't going to happen. <laughs> We've let you down, Adam. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> if you'd given us the answers, it wouldn't have happened, would it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to ask you guys for the age of a celebrity, and you guys are going to have to guess the age of that celebrity. The person with the near the ne nearest to that age will win, and you'll you'll take the point. Okay. 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 Cool. Understood. Yeah. I, I, I know the answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the celebrity is Pharrell Williams. Oh. How old is Pharrell Williams? That's a really good kind of question. Is it who's, who goes first? Yeah, taking turns. Go on. <laughs> Be my guest. <laughs> did, did you sing happy? Yeah. Right. <laughs> I don't think he's that young at all. I think he's like, well past his prime. Um, I think he's like... 41. I was gonna say, I was gonna say 43. But uh, yeah, let's, we, let's go. We go, yeah, no, let's go for that, go for that. Final answer, Amazing 43. Right. Well, it's 42. You guys are going 43? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got me, 42. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I look like this. He's 50 years old, which means <laughs> Rob and Moy, you guys win! <laughs> <laughs> Thank oh. you. And what that means is, you guys are smarter than your lecturer. Yeah. <laughs> I think what it means <laughs> is that two people working together are cleverer than one person uh, working alone. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shit, God, for f oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> anyway. Thank you very much for coming in, Durham. You're welcome. You're one of a few lecturers who've come in, so I really, really do appreciate this. And do they often win? Uh, no. Excellent. <laughs> I feel like I'm in good company. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Well, that was a lot of fun.